mention him, he's probably not expanding all over the goddamn place. Um, if he's expanding all over the place, he's probably crept quite a bit more, um, just from the sheer need of having to, having to clear those expansions out. Um, that was in the middle, uh, uh, Happy did just use that technique where he dropped his mana items and then recovered for a little while at the Fountain of Mana and picked him back up. That got his heroes uh, at full mana a little bit quicker. It's not a big deal. Um, it, it, it's not really going to win you or lose you the game, but it is uh, definitely something that you can use to get a little bit of a leg up on your opponent. Um, also, when you see your opponent going for gyrocopters, you kind of have two choices. One uh, is to completely... Abandoned going for air. Um, you just you get a ground based army, which is mostly going to consist of fiends and things like that. And you just you kind of don't use destros, and you just say, "Ha ha! You spent all that money building all those gyrocopters, and I'm not even going to build anything that they can deal damage to." Um, that works okay. Uh, you have a little bit of trouble from knights. Um, you can you can get creative by either just nuking the knights really hard uh, and using like focus fire from the fiends and everything like that. Um, you can also go for banshees and try and use possession to help you out. Um, the other option is to go ahead and uh, fight with him for air control. And in order to do that, you basically need a panda, um, which is which is what Xylagan is uh, just or uh, Happy is just picked up right here. Uh, you'll notice he's moving his mountain or his, his his death knight and his lich away from the battle um, because you want all of the experience going to the panda. You don't want uh, any of it going to the death knight or the lich because though they're very important heroes at, at this point for Xylagan, they're uh, they are. 5-4, and the, the biggest thing that you need to deal with at this point is the gyrocopters, because if you can kill those, uh, the destroyers can pretty much handle everything else. So um, you really want to power creep that panda. Keep keep your other two heroes away whenever you're creeping, um, and, and get him to level 3 as fast as humanly possible. Um, levels 4 and 5, you're, you're probably not going to get that high, obviously. But uh, three is the important one, just because you get that that level two breath of fire, which is going to kill gyrocopters all the faster. Um, here we've got a fight going. Uh, I'm I don't know that uh, Xylagan did the right thing by backing off here. Um, it, it's one of the advantages that you have as uh, as undead when you've when you've gone for like fiends. I you know I think I just let that go by without even freaking mentioning it. Uh, my apologies. Um, the other thing that you're gonna do if you're gonna keep trying to go for air um, is you have to start building fiends. That way, um, obviously, web is gonna help uh, keep your stuff alive against the damn uh, gyrocopters. Um, you just saw Happy use uh, Breath of Fire as a nuke. Um, that's not, you know, its primary purpose, but if you are trying to get a hero kill, um, like in this case where, where Happy is, he's taking advantage of the fact that he's he's been able to out-level his opponent's heroes. Um, so, uh, yeah, if if, um, if you have the opportunity, um, go ahead and tack on a, a Breath of Fire if, if you need a little bit of extra damage to finish, finish off like your opponent's Paladin or something like that. Uh, one of the things the observer, one of the observers, just pointed out here uh, is it, they said, uh, "So fast, panda." I'm, I'm quoting literally here, um, and and that that's uh, pointing out the fact that the the panda has boots of speed on, which is a great pick. If you have, uh, if you happen to have boots of speed on one of your heroes, put them on the panda, because the panda needs to get in a position to cast uh, Breath of Fire. It has fairly decent range, but um, the pen is very fat, so often you're going to find that he's going to have to path around a lot of stuff, and the last thing that you want happening is for your Breath of Fire not to even go off, because your panda was taking too long getting his big fat ass to uh, where he actually needs to be in order to, uh, to cast Breath of Fire on the targeted unit. Um, let's take a look at while we're talking about items. Uh, let's take a look at what else Happy has. Um, he's grabbed. I think he's got one scroll of healing. Um, those can be pretty helpful uh, against gyrocopters because gyrocopters are very heavily reliant on splash damage. Um, also, notice in Happy's army uh, is gargoyles. That's not a unit that you see terribly often uh, being used against um, against humans. I don't think uh, I don't think it's too bad a choice at this point, um, mostly because they're good against griffins. 
Um, Xyligan hasn't built any Dragonhawk riders in a while. Uh, that, that's one of the problems sometimes with with uh, Gargoyles is that if your opponent has like a lot of like more Dragonhawk riders than you've got Gargs, he's just going to aerial shackles all the Gargs, and you're going to lose him, and that's going to suck. Um, but uh, like I said, in this case, that he doesn't have those, um, so he's going to go ahead and try and use the Gargoyles. Gargs, from what I understand. Uh, put up a fairly decent fight against um, gyrocopters, especially if you have scrolls of healing. Ultimately, uh, they're they're not that great of a counter, but um, when your opponent is also using quite a few griffins, it, it, it's a decent idea to try and keep the griffins under the con under control. Um, if you look at uh, Xyligan's army, um, he's going to kind of keep his gyrocopters a bit spread out. He's got them in two separate control groups, which I think is, is pretty much necessary, considering uh, he's got like 24 of them. But uh, I believe, yeah, he, he's going to... Well, okay, let's put it this way. A good human player, whether or not Xyligan decides to do it, is going to keep them spread out so that they don't all get breath fired at the same freaking time. Um... But, uh, by the way, you know how I mentioned uh, Gargs being a decent idea? Well, it doesn't work too well uh, when your opponent has an absolute crap ton of gyrocopters because uh, the Gargs kind of just evaporate in a ridiculous amount of splash damage. He, he did use that one uh, heal scroll, but it, it just it didn't save him. Um, what Happy did do, however, is uh, he managed to kill, get a, score a kill on his opponent's uh, Mountain King. Um, that's pretty nice. Uh, and and while his air was kind of getting dominated, he basically said, "Okay, I will just take over the ground in that case." Um, and and that ended up being very helpful for him because. Um, He'd pretty much lost in the air, and he just he actually abandoned. He sent his destroyers and got them the heck out of there. Um, now there was shoot. There was something else I was going to say. Oh yeah, um, a, a nice little thing that I've noticed. Um, I haven't gotten a whole lot of use out of it, but I'd be willing to bet better players than me do it all the time. Is uh, if you if you use the little scroll wheel on your mouse. What what it what that does is it kind of it kind of moves the camera angle down so it's like closer to the ground, uh, and when you do that, it's actually a lot easier to see um, like what's going on in the air versus what's going on in the ground. So if you have the trouble where the camera where you can't see what's going on in the ground because there's a bunch of air units all over the place, just kind of scroll forward on your mouse wheel, and you'll actually be able to see. Um, You'll be able to see kind of like what's going on in the two tiers of action, like the the air and the ground stuff. So uh, that that can be very handy if you want to try and nuke an opponent's hero, but you're having trouble targeting it. Um, one thing to be aware of here, although uh, Xyligan has a lot of gyrocopters at this point, uh, take note of the uh, very large amount of smoke that's rising from uh, his army full of them. Um, this is why the panda pays off. Um, he's if, if your opponent has a ton of gyrocopters, you're not necessarily going to get off enough breath of fires to like kill all of them right off the bat. However, in repeated battles, uh, the human player, because gyrocopters are mechanical, doesn't really have any particular good way of healing them up. Obviously, he can repair them with his peasants, but that's going to mean that you know he's either not collecting lumber, it's going to cost him money just to do the repairs themselves, and it takes a while. It's not one of those things where he can pop um, one of his uh, scrolls of healing or scroll of regeneration.